TV mattered, nothing else did. Girl said yes, but he said no. Now he's got his own game show. Stop! And now it's his basement, his rules, his game show. The Quizmaster 72 whooping golf lane, Ken Elba. Could you get the door, Carl? Sure. Could you get the door, Carl? Hey, what about you, Carl? Could you get the door? I can. Could you get the door? Give me, I'll give you the door. Yeah. yeah you say hello to Carl and Carl and Steve out of here. Hey. And of course, uh, you know, no game would be complete without um, free LA gears. No, no game would be complete without contestants, and here they are. Zachary is sitting in the teal chair. I'll tell you a little something about him. Zachary goes to the University of South Florida. No, you go to, where do you go? I go to USC, Ken, but that's is, okay. Oh, that's University of Southern California. Southern, yeah, that, that's right, Ken. Does that look like, excuse me, does that look like an F or a C? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. It's Zach. kind of like, his name is Zach. Yeah, I know his name is Zach, but that wasn't. <laughs> thanks, thanks for your help. Thanks, thanks, have fun. Yeah, thanks, good. Anyway, he goes to USC. You're a major in biochem, I'm told. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Now, what is that? What is uh, biochemistry? It's, you know, study of uh, biology and chemistry. Kind oh, of thanks, Zach. <laughs> <guy. laughs> I was left hanging on that one, but yeah, well. uh, thanks for Now, in the middle, let's say hello to Rosie in the pink chair. Yeah. Rosie goes to Michigan State. Major in sociology. In her spare time, she likes to collect fish. Now, is this living fish or? Um, both kinds. Uh, yeah. All fish. Living and fish. plastic. Can you breathe underwater without the use of uh, um, apparatus? No, I let the fish do that usually. Okay. But <laughs> okay, Rosie, nice to have you here. Do you have your free LA gears on? Yep. Good. All right, Robert's in the blue chair. Say hello to Robert. Robert goes to Seminole Community College. Robert is a major in international finance, which uh, has another term. I think you know what that is, and we won't go into it. Wish him good luck, huh? Yeah. Okay, uh, I believe you know how we do this. We have the Big Zenith contains nine cable TV channels. I contain some questions written on little cards. If you have the right answers, on and on and on and on and on. Much like life itself. Zachary, you're in control. Uh, Ken, I'll take channel six for no particular reason. Okay, Zachary, at least you're honest. Today's show time machine. When the Today's Show's time machine goes haywire, there's no telling where those lovable early birds will show up. What time does that show start? Like, four in the morning? That would be the yesterday show, then, that really. That would be the yesterday <laughs> They really should do a yesterday show. That would be funny. Five points. Well, it's, well, funny was maybe a stretch. But anyway, uh... Five points, Willard Scott tramples women and children to get to the lifeboats as the Titanic goes down into what ocean is the great ship sinking? Zachary. Uh, the Arctic. No. The Robert. Atlantic? Yes, Robert. The Atlantic Ocean. Five points. Okay, I'll go to channel one, Ken. Although Willard could probably stay afloat by himself. Bald guys. Five points, bald guys. He baldly stated that he loved the smell of napalm in the morning. Uh, that would Robert. be Robert Duvall. Yeah, when he played Colonel Kilgore at Fox Go ahead, Robert. I'll stick with bald guys. Okay, Robert. <laughs> You'll stick with bald guys. That's, <laughs> I, I hear they're very virile and, and... I wouldn't know. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but anyway, 10 points. He's hip, but he ne he's never gonna get his own beef cape calendar. Name the small, bi-speckled, and relatively hairless leader of the Late Night with David Letterman band, Robert. be Paul Schaefer. That would be Paul Schaefer. Well, I'll tell you something. Right now, I mean, Robert, I mean, Carl, I mean, Robert is running away with this thing. You know that would I mean? be yes, Ken. I mean, yeah, no, I know that's yes, but what do you think of these guys? Well, Ken, you got uh, Robin over there who looks like uh, if Andrew McCarthy was a cashier, you know? <laughs> You got this dude who looks like a bobcat golf weight and uh, Glenn Close had a baby, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go with Marie Osmond on this one now, you know? Yeah. Okay. yeah, I guess it's... It's the fish. Must be the fish. It's the fish that did it. I'll stick with the ball guys. Look, Robert picked right up. You see, Robert picked right up and knew when to start in again. Yeah. See that? That was without a cue, right? I go you to just, college. You just felt, you felt the thing. You felt the mood. Went to switch. Seminole Community College. Seminole Community <laughs> Right. University of Sanford. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what you call it. Fifteen points, ball guys. You want to stay with ball guys, right? Okay. I'm not you know, forcing you. You realize that. This is this is probably one of the freest countries in the world. 
15 points. Name the shiny top who's not related to Gary Coleman, but is famous for his roles in black comedies like Buffalo Bill. Robert. Uh, I'm speechless. Okay. <laughs> but honest. Dabney yeah. Coleman? Yeah, Dabney Coleman. Yeah. Buffalo Bill and Mary Hopper, Mary Hopper. 15 points. Right back in it with Zach. Well, Marie. thank you very little, Ken. I'll switch to channel eight. Okay, channel eight. <laughs> MTV. Of course, stands for? Music television. Five points. Name the charismatic and well-groomed lead singer of this band. Zachary. Michael Stipe. Yeah, five points. R.E.M. is the band. Very good, Zachary. Ken, I'll stay with Channel 8. We're all very proud of you. Thank okay, you. MTV. You Ten points. What member of this band starred in the movie Dogs in Space? Zachary. Michael Hutchins. Yeah, the lead singer of In Excess. That, of course... What's, Rosie, you having a problem with your buzzer? Yeah. Well, well, see, I think we just buzzed in before you. <laughs> Zachary, just leave an address where I, I can mail you half my paycheck. Um, try it again, Rosie. Sorry. Okay. Buzz it again. Okay. Okay, try it one more no time, problem. Rosie. Okay, now, right. shut up. Okay, Zach, go ahead. No, Rosie, I'm, I, that was from the heart. I'm kidding. Right. Rosie, you will come back. I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling in my loins. You will return. Go ahead. Ken, uh, I'll close out Channel 8. Okay, MTV, 15 points. Rosie, get this one right. Bang, you're right back into it. 15 points. You know this guy's stage name. What's his real name? Zachary. Johnny Lydon. Yeah, Johnny Lydon, Olinden, 15 points. Very good. And of course, Johnny Rock. Go ahead, Zachary. Time for a snack, I believe. Yes, isn't it? Yes, balls out just in time. While you guys are snacking, we'll check the score. Zachary has 45, Robert 20. Rosie yet to score. Round two is coming up, and the person left standing takes home this. Street need what? leather Wayfair sunglasses by Ray Ban, Ken. I'm looking at Boss Leather to try and step with today's fashion. Wayfair with the world's finest sunglasses from Bausch and Lomba. It's a collection of polygram CDs, Ken, including the latest hits from such artists as the Fat Boys and Bon Jovi. Ow! Lazonic L30 portable stereo system, Kari. Features dual success, graphic equalizer, 100 watts of music power from Lazonic. Smith Corona is easy to use, XT5500 memory typewriter, Colin. Word dictionary, liquid crystal display, and correcting cassette, American made by Smith Corona. When, when remote, remote control, control continues, continues, Steve. Steve. M. Mailman. M. Mongrel. M. Mom. M. TV. Remote Control is brought to you by Caramello, the milk chocolate and creamy caramel candy bar. Stretch it out, Caramello. Stretch it out. Step to the rear of the elevator, ladies and gentlemen, and face the front of the car. Kindly watch the closing doors going down. Seventh floor, pots, pans, and hardware. Fourth floor, footwear and sporting goods. Third floor, ladies, lingerie and radios. Ground floor, swatch going up. There's plenty of room, ladies and gentlemen. Please watch your step. Astronomers tell us there won't be a total eclipse in America until the year 2017. They are very much mistaken. This is the year of the eclipse. Introducing the eclipse by Mitsubishi. Try not to stare.